Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this video, we'll talk about one more group of protista and that is ciliata. As the name tells us, the locomotive structures are cilia. And the example that we would take up is paramecium. Now paramecium is spelled in two ways. One is O-E-C-I-U-M or sometimes it is also written as E-C-I-U-M. So paramecium is the example that we talk of. Paramecium is a free living organism. It is normally found in fresh water. But there is one more example which is a parasitic and a pathogenic one and that is balantidium. Balantidium is pathogenic endoparasite. So these are two examples and we'll be talking about paramecium in detail. There are three species of paramecium that we normally talk of. One is Paramecium caudata. Then next is Paramecium aurelia. And the third is Paramecium multi, sorry, micro multinucleatum. In Paramecium or in ciliata group, we find nuclear dimorphism. There are two different nuclei present. That means it is a binucleate cell. Paramecium is commonly known as slipper animalcule and the reason is the body looks like the slippers or the sole of slippers and all along we find tiny hair like cilia growing. So cilia are all around the body surface and we also have two structures which resemble one resembles mouth and the other resembles the anal opening. So here there is a tubular structure. The opening is known as cytostone which is similar to mouth. This is the place from where the cell or this paramecium is going to take its food from. Then mouth or the cytostome, it leads into a tube which is called the gullet. And this, <coughs> sorry, this gullet is also lined by cilia and all these cilia are inwardly directed. At the lower end of this tube, there is food vacuole which is formed. So when the food is taken in, it is packed into a vacuole-like structure at the other end of this gun. This food vacuole, it normally takes a predefined path and this path is like eight. It is in the shape of eight. So this is the food vacuole and it moves in the shape of eight so that the digested food can be uh, circulated all throughout the cell. So from here it is going to move like this and it goes like this. So it moves in the shape of eight so that the complete nutrition is circulated throughout the cell. Now there is one more opening here which is resembling the anus. So this structure resembles, it is called cytopyge and it resembles the anus through where the undigested food would be thrown out. As we said, there are two nuclei. One nucleus is a larger and a kidney-shaped nucleus. This is called the macronucleus. And there is a small circular nucleus which is called the micronucleus. Macronucleus is responsible for all the activities of the cell, whereas micro is responsible only for reproduction. So it is responsible for regulating only the reproductive processes and all other activities.
these are controlled by the macronucleus. There are two large contractile vacuoles. Each contractile vacuole has a central vacuole and arising from the central vacuole there are radiating vacuoles or radiating canals. So it appears in the form of a flower like structure. But basically there is a central vacuum and there are radial canals. And there is one more which is at the other end. So here also we find this contractile vacuum. So this structure is the contractile vacuum. And the function of contractile vacuum is osmoregulation. It helps in balancing iron and water concentration inside the cell. Now this is how this structure uh, or the uh, paramecium cell looks. Now what is the difference between these three species of paramecia which we have written here? In case of paramecium caudatum, there is, if we talk about this one, there is one macro and one micro nucleus. In case of Aurelia, there is one macro and two micronuclei. And in case of the third one, the name is telling us it is multinucleated, micro multinucleated. There are many micronuclei. So it is one macro and many micronuclei present in each cell of paramecium. Reproduction in case of paramecium is by both means asexual as well as sexual. Asexual is by transverse binary fission. Now how is this transverse binary fission going to take place? Transverse means along, if this is the longitudinal axis, cytokinesis is going to take place transversely. But if the cell divides like this, there is only one gullet which goes in one half and the other half or the other daughter cell is not going to get the gullet or the mouth. So before the cell divides, it develops one more mouth or cytostome and one more cytopyte and then the transverse division is going to take place. So that is by transverse division. And sexual reproduction is first by conjugation. After conjugation there is exchange of genetic material and after that it again divides by binary fission. So this is a free living form that we have talked of. Balantidium, as we said in the beginning, is an endoparasite and it causes dysentery. It is found in our digestive system and it causes abdominal problems. So, name ciliata is given because it has cilia for locomotion. Not only for locomotion, the cilia here, which are present in the gullet, they help in capturing of food. So, it is a holozoic, it is heterotrophic and it is a free living organism that is paramecium. So this is one important example of group ciliata in protista.